Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So I told you that I would be so happy to share with you guys over the course of days a few different things that you could do to bring a lot more magic into your life. And so this time what we're gonna do is something a little bit different. And you might have to postpone this one to the new moon because this is a new moon gift to new little ones. It is one that I want you to bookmark and save it because each little one that comes into your life, be it a baby or be it your own new pet, this is something that you can do, but especially for the new little humans that come into the world. I also told you guys that I would be glad to share with you a couple of things so that you can get into your apothecary or bring things to you so you can have a stockpile of things so when we go over our little magical days that you'll have things for yourselves and some of these are herbs and that's what we're going to talk about today now i know that if you're in the uk and other places you say herbs but we've learned to say herbs so that's the way i'll be saying them the first thing that you can have on a hand that's really good to have with you is coriander. Coriander is belief long, long time ago, anciently, was that if you added a few of the whole seeds to the wine, then it will bring passion to the person. It is also thought that it does help to speed things along. So in one of the videos, and also in what I've said, in different ones I've said, it takes about 28 days or longer for something to come to fruition. After all, you have to put the seed in the ground. However, if it's something you want to come a little speedier, this might do the trick. Another one that you can get and have on hand is ginger. The whole ginger, not the ground kind, also that would help, but we are talking about whole ginger. When you add ginger to anything, of course, we do know it helps our tummy now. But if you do eat carrots, which some of us still do eat carrots, or something such that you can add honey to, you can also add a little bit of ground ginger. And when you do that, it will add spice to that relationship of yours. Our third one that we have on hand, and most people have this on hand, if it's not in the original form that it comes, it does come in, in oils. And that would be lavender. And the reason that we want lavender with us always is for calm and peace. It's very, very important for us to have that on hand. We all use it and we all need it. You can add a little bit of that to your candles which is what I like to do for peace and calming. Now, this is not exactly for those that want to spice the relationship up. This is for someone that needs a little bit more peace and harmony in the home. So you'll want that. It also, just for an extra little noticing, is it helps to heal the relationships around you. It helps heal the relationships to yourself and to others too. It works very, very well on animals. You can use some of that, and I know we've all heard that because we have dream pillows now. It can help you to have calming dreams. So I've told you guys that you can put that rock underneath your bed so that you'll feel very, very stable. But this too, no, we didn't have an earthquake. That was me um, kicking the table. Uh, you need to put it maybe a littler pillow inside your pillow. Now you can go buy them at this point, but it's much more fun to make them. Another one is orris root. Now, that's not so easy to find, although I've noticed on the spice shelves, because people are doing much more of this and being much more, hmm, outward speaking than, shh, it's a secret. You will find orris root. It's O-R-R-I-S root. Now, that's important to have. Why? Because when we're doing love spells, magic, 
recipes. You can use it in drawing love to you. Drawing love to yourself first and foremost, remember. But the whole root can be used in its powdered form. It's pretty easy to find. It's on your local shelf. It can also enhance other herbs. So if you use it, let's say with mm, ginger, so that spice is gonna become maybe just a little bit spicier. Also, one thing I save is rosebuds. Now people might, you know, take them and dry them and throw them away, I don't know. I happen to save them. I like them because I feel like they have so much energy for me bringing the offerings to the goddesses and the gods and angels that I want those around me. So I cut them down to where they're just the bloom and I dry them very nicely. I just let them air dry. And then when I need them for something such as this, or if someone calls on me to do something to enhance love to that person so that they can heal, I will have those around, around the candle. And then I add to that candle the oils of love. And then we're going to start now with what I'm bringing you today. Hopefully you're going to listen to the whole thing because this is a fun one to do. This is when you will want to do this on the new moon. So let me see, should I wait till the new moon and do this? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I will wait until the new moon and tell you guys this one to do. So let's do one that will be for you to keep the friends that you love in your life. You want to get yummy box of chocolates. Now, if you don't, if, there's so much candy right now that if you want to go get candy and you want to take the, the, peelings, the packages off the candle, uh, excuse me, off of the chocolates, then please do that. But maybe put it in a little box so it will be nice and beautiful. And then you'll want two candles. Pink, pink is what I like. Um, I brought these, these are these candles. The little ones that I told you, these are the chime candles. Okay, and you'll want two of those. You can get these pretty much on uh, anywhere at this point. And gee, the price has gone up. You used to be able to get it for like $7. Well, you'll have to pay 10 now. But you'll get a plethora of candles, all different colors. And those are good because those are called working candles. You'll want to use two of these in this particular candle working that we're doing. You'll want to get a red pen and several pieces of paper. I like parchment. You know, you can buy parchment in the store in a big roll and just rip it off, you know, and, or if you want to cut it off, but remember, you'll want to make all of the edges very raggedy, like it's old paper. Whatever you want to do. Some people will say, well, can't I use like stationary paper? If that's what you want to do, then great. But needless to say, keep it to be in a very nice paper because after all, this is about keeping your friends or bringing friends to you. You'll want a love blend. Now, I did tell you that you could do, could use lavender, that's really nice. You might want to get rose if you have it. And you might wanna add a little bit of the orris root. Well, that's a powder, Jade, that's true. But you can stir it into your oils and then you can rub the candle in it. Now, I remember I told you that when you do this, you'll load the candle and you'll put the oil and you'll put it in your hands and you'll rub it. And you'll put it from the wick to the base three times, okay? And then you'll take the powder and you'll put it in a dish. Now this is little, but you'll put it in a dish. And then you'll put the candle in there and you'll roll it towards you. Because when you roll the candle towards you, it brings things to you. And then you'll put it in its little candle holder. Now, these little candle holders, you can find them. If not, again, you might have to purchase a couple of those. But once you have them, you'll always have them. So set those two up. 
Now also what you want is an incense, a love incense. So what's that? Well, you know, if you like patchouli, you can use that. That actually is a very good one. Again, lavender. You can use lavender incense. You can use those too. And I would put a few of those buds of roses. If you want to do something for friends, I would stay more with maybe white or a light pink, something such as this, because red is way too passionate, unless you're gonna cultivate a friendship that you want that's more than that. But we're going on just basic friendship that can grow into a really beautiful, beautiful uh, relationship between the two of you. So now you're gonna get your boss of chocolates. It must be a heart. You can go to your craft store and grab one of those. Well, Jade, I don't know if I can do it. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm giving these to you to use at your leisure. This can be done on a full moon for a lot of power, or it can be done on the crescent and growing moon, waxing, which is the new moon, so that you can increase. So you'll put the heart box on your altar. You'll take all your supplies and you'll ask the goddess Venus to be with you. You can also ask goddess Bridget because she's very much about relationships and kindness. So we'll have the mixture of the two energies, something very playful and very fun, very loving, a lot of spontaneity, and also a maturity of two people that care about each other and grow the relationship in a beautiful way. Did you see that flying by there? Because I did, and I'm like, oh, what was that? <laughs> I don't know, but I just saw it. Okay, and then you'll want to light your incense, and you'll pass everything through that to cleanse it and clear it and to bless it. Once you've done that, you'll load the candles that I've suggested with the love oil and the orris root, if you get that. You'll put them in their little holders and then you will light one of the candles first. Because one of those candles is a representation of you, okay? And then you will hold your hands over the chocolates and you'll say your petition your petition is something that you've written. It might be something short and sweet. It might be a little rhyme. I can tell you this. If you do a short rhyme, it's much more effective than just saying a bunch of words. But nevertheless, heartfelt is what's important. Then you will allow that candle, that one candle that you lit, only the one, to burn to completion. Once it's done, it should go out on its own. And now you will take that candy on word to your friend. When the full moon comes, then you will light the second pink candle. So this is gonna be a little bit of operational. You can do this all up. You could do it a couple days before the full moon. It's up to you, but just make sure that that person gets the candy and they're able to eat some of that candy that you love. With the pen that you had previously and that parchment paper, write down all of the energies you're looking for in that friend. Remember, this is candle number two on the full moon. Now, what if you say, well, Jade, you're having me do something else too. Well, that's true. So you get to do two things, which is great. So write down, again, the type of energies that you feel like you would want in that friendship. And remember, don't ask for something that you're not willing to give yourself because you're, we're filling each other with goodness and graciousness. When you're done, you're going to roll that parchment to a tiny, small scroll. And then you can do one of two things. You can take a ribbon, 
and you can wrap it. You can take a ribbon of any color. These are all sorts of different colors that I have. I think I would probably use pink in this case, but there's also silver that you can use. That would be good as well. So those two things, and you would wrap that and you would then make sure that it was shut and tie it. If you do plan to do that, tie it in three knots. And when you do, you would say, I'm grateful for your friendship, one. I'm grateful to be your friend, two. I'm grateful that we share goodness together. This is a great friendship, three. So make sure that you'll have stopped, go back and write those down because that's important. Once you have done that, then I want you to put that parchment near the candle and let it burn. If you have returned some of the candy to yourself, maybe you shared and brought the box home, which is a hint you want to do that. It's like, I'm not gonna leave the candy there. Mm, you can, but encourage that you might bring a piece or two candy home for yourself because after all, you're sharing the energy. And then what you wanna do is you wanna have a second box. Oh, spoiler, didn't put it at the front of this. You'll want two boxes, one's for you. So you'll put those candies in the box and you'll put the parchment there and you'll put your hand over that and you'll put say what you desire for that friendship again and once you do that you'll take wax you'll just drip it so what you'll do is you'll pick up what's left of the candle and you'll pour it over the box let's just say that this is the box and you'll just pour it across and seal the box all the way around. It's pretty easy to do. Just make sure you have something under you so that, you know, I mean, if you make a mess, I made lots of messes doing this, and you'll be able to have that particular box sealed. Then allow the candle to burn the rest of the way. Let it set on your altar for seven days. And every night, come to the box and give thanks for the friendship that is growing. And sure enough, within so much time, that friendship that you wanted to save, that friendship that you wanted to create, will be yours. It's a beautiful expression because you've taken the time and the energy and the love to put in it. So that's a really big working. I keep them short and sweet, so the next one I'll do will be short and sweet for All Hallows' Eve. Take care, and we're working on day three. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much.